another community in our area banned lawn watering. First, it was Pewaukee. Now it's Germantown, where Charles Benson talked to people ready for some rain. Charles. And Germantown uses groundwater to keep its system running. And right now, those wells are working overtime. I'm told it's not a critical situation just yet. They just want to make sure there's not a water crisis in the event of a big fire. The grass is green at Mary Kay Olson's home in Germantown. She's trying to sell her $287,000 home and thought a lush lawn would help. She started watering a couple of weeks ago after she noticed the brown grass didn't look good on the website listing her house. I just wanted it to look pretty for the sale of my home. Yeah. So what do you make of this water ban? I mean, it's been a tough summer. Yes, it has been very tough, but we've got to follow the rules. It's not just lawns that are dried out. Local baseball diamonds look as brown as the infield dirt. Pat Claver is watching his son pitch tonight. He's okay with the watering ban. Makes sense, you know, keep the water table where it's at. Not necessary to keep watering the lawn when it's dormant. Not everyone knows about the ban. We found the sprinklers running at the public school. I was watering every day. Olson has a garden and flowers that will need watering. And that's still okay to do in Germantown. Well, I have to water the flowers. You can't let flowers die. But I will not water my lawn anymore. Now, right now, there's no fine for violators. And I have talked to other communities that are thinking about a water ban for lawns, but they may make that same call this week. On your side, live in Germantown, Charles Benson, today's TMJ4. Yeah, if this continues much longer, they'll be forced to. Thanks, Charles.